Hey dolls, I'm back and this time I did a Target mini haul. I didn't get too many things but I got some pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything that I got out the bag. It's doll stuff. I have a few other items that I'm going to show y'all. Just random Halloween stuff. But I got some pretty cool doll stuff so I'm going to lay everything out on the table and tell you how much I paid for it and everything they had in the so store. I got some really really cool toy finds at Target that I've been wanting and I'm gonna talk about why these are so important to me and the other ones that I saw that are not really good buys at Target and I do have my receipt okay so I'm gonna be telling you how much everything costs so the first thing that I want to talk about I'm gonna talk about everything in the order that I found it are these now we know that Halloween is coming up okay I've heard about the little dollar section in Target but since I don't go to Target all the time I never checked it out but I did this time they have a ton of Halloween stuff and check this out this is so cute and it's like okay you hear that and check it out one dollar so I've been wanting to do doll crafts again I've had doll crafts on my channel also let me know if y'all like doll crafts because I have a, a lot of good ideas for like stuff that I haven't seen on the internet that I really want to do so if y'all are into that I'll definitely do the doll crafts but these were only a dollar at Target so I definitely have a scene coming last year I didn't get to do as many holiday videos and um, different things that I wanted to do for the holidays as far as Halloween and Christmas and Thanksgiving but this year I'm working ahead of time so that I can have all of my videos done for the holidays for the dolls so I'm not gonna tell y'all what I'm doing with this but just best believe that the dolls are definitely gonna be using this and one of the videos that I have coming up for one of the shows a very special Halloween episode and then I'm also gonna be using these for doll photography as well okay so I thought these were just really cool I bought a whole bunch of them as you can see I probably should have bought all of them now that I think about it I probably go back um, when I go to the gym this week cuz Target is right by my gym so yeah a dollar a piece for these so hopefully they have more cuz I'm gonna pick them all up because these are just really cool and I don't want to say everything that I have in mind for these but even beyond Halloween I could definitely put these to use and on the topic of Halloween this isn't related to big dolls but this is related to my baby doll my princess um I got this outfit this was $15 and some change at Target and I thought it was really cute um she's obsessed with pumpkins this year I usually don't do Halloween I'm gonna be honest I haven't really celebrated Halloween like I stopped celebrating Halloween when I was a kid um just because I, I just wanted to like when we moved it just wasn't the same so I just stopped celebrating it but my baby now she's obsessed with it she's three so this is gonna be her first official Halloween because since she wants to do it I'm not gonna stop her so this is her costume so far so I just wanted to show y'all that they have some really cool Halloween costumes at Target so next I want to talk about made to move soccer for one I'm obsessed uh, just paired with made to move Barbies I don't know if they're starting to die down and they're not selling them anymore as much but I have been seeing that I haven't been finding them at Walmart it's really hard to find them even on Toys R Us .com, they're kind of sold out and so when I went on Target.com and saw that they still had some of her I had to snag her now she was only $14.99 at Target and that's really good because when I found her on Amazon they're so rare I guess on Amazon right now that it's, it was like $33 for her on Amazon so when I found her I'm like okay I need her because I do get a lot of dolls in this complexion but I already have one of her coming from um, Barbie.com so I'm excited about this because she's really cute I didn't see how she looked in person like I, I thought I was just gonna swap her head but I'm actually gonna keep this doll because I have another one of her coming in person and she also matches orange top which is one of my made to move bodies that I was saving as y'all can see orange top is like <laughs> one of my favorites I have three of her on the roof Barbies of Atlanta but they're actually the same complexion and the reason I ordered both of them from Barbie.com is because I wasn't sure but now that I have them they're definitely the same complexion so I have like I probably have like two of her coming from um Barbie.com I have one of her and then I have two other complexions that are on the way for my made to move dolls so I just wanted to show you how they look real quick <clears throat> so you can get an idea but since they're the same complexion like I said I'm gonna keep her on this body I'm just gonna keep this doll she's really cute to me I love her little soccer outfit and at least I'll be able to have two um, dolls with a soccer outfit um, since I have another one of her coming which is kind of cool so somebody on the real Barbies at Atlanta one of the students are definitely gonna be soccer girls and then it has a cute little soccer ball that it comes with 
so yeah i'm totally feeling her um and i am gonna open her up either on this video or another video on the back of her box you can see the other dolls now i have this is one of the barbies that's also coming um that i ordered from barbie.com and i want her for her body really to be honest and also the outfit is pretty cool and i've been looking for her and she is super hard to find like she's kind of expensive now so i wish i got her um when she first came out which was probably like a year ago now but yeah and shouts out to soccer we call it football football in spanish okay so panamanian's football is different from american football okay and all over the world soccer is a very popular sport next we have barbie and the rockers okay and i think this is a new doll because i know they had an old line of barbie and the rocker dolls like back in the day that that were out because you can find them on ebay or whatever so i think this is a new line but when i saw this doll i saw her on somebody's instagram and i was like okay i wasn't really crazy about her but in person she's super cute because she looks i mean she is a light-skinned doll um <laughs> this is what we call red bones down south um i i think but i don't call her red bone okay because some people say that i'm red so if i'm red i'm like no 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 she's definitely yellow bone okay <laughs> so i call her her yellow bone but to me this is a yellow bone doll she has her hair flopped i'm just loving her she she looks like she's creole you know what i mean straight from louisiana we gonna call her our creole doll so we got creole in the building i lived in new orleans all through my childhood so shouts out to the no <laughs> and um I, I just had to get her now she was 14.99 at target and I was looking at her because I did not go for her. I wasn't even expecting to see this doll. But my spider senses was just like, get her, get her, get her, get her. So now I'm extremely excited that I got her. Because I would have been thinking about her if I didn't. Like, I know myself. So, yeah. And check her out. So you can see that she comes with a violin. Which is really cool. Because I used to play the violin when I was a kid. I was really good. Like, I was in the orchestra and everything. But that was years ago. <laughs> so she has a violin that she comes with, with the violin and the stick. And then she also has a stand that has has a mic. And if, if I see it correctly, the mic comes out of the stand. So I'm going to be opening her up too. I might actually open her up in this video. There are other dolls that comes in her collection. Um, but I just wasn't um, really too into them. So, I'm probably not going to get any of the other girls, but I definitely wanted Mrs. Curvy. Next, we have the monster family of Cleo Denial. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. I saw her on Target.com like two or three weeks ago, and I almost went crazy. Because at that time, I was looking for the Fresh Dolls. I wasn't even looking for this. I didn't even know this existed. That was even before I got the, um, the monster family of Claudine Wolf and all that. I was on there looking for Fresh Dolls, and boom. I ran into this and I was like oh my goodness so I thought I was gonna have to order her the reason that I didn't order her is because I didn't want to pay shipping and handling since I wasn't like I don't know I think Target might have if you if you order a certain amount that you can have shipping free but it just came out of too much like I, I didn't want that many dolls that day so I was like you know what I'm just gonna get her later I look for her on Amazon to my knowledge this set still isn't available on Amazon and let me cut to it real quick first of all she was only $19.99 now, mind you, I paid $18.88 for Claudine Wolf at Walmart, and Claudine's not even fully articulated. This uh, Cleo Denial is all the way articulated. She moves at her knees, hips, and her wrists and elbows like the old school Monster High dolls, which is what I love okay so let me do a flashback let me go get my other dolls real quick to give you a reminder of claudine okay so family. here is the set that i got for 1888 at walmart with claudine wolf now it didn't come with paula paula was separate she was like 794 oh my memory's good she comes in a separate package but the package i got had claudine it comes with her um little brother and then her little sister uh where it is and i think her brother's barker that's his name so it came with these dolls for 1888 but if you take a look at Claudine she is not articulated at the knees she's not articulated at the elbows she's not articulated anywhere okay barely like barely so um she just got spared because i was gonna actually start practicing my first repaint on that doll because i'm not crazy about the new claudine face i like the claudine with attitude but i remember i had to still do this video so that's how claudine got spared but she might still be getting a repaint <laughs> one of these days 
but yeah um i just wanted to show y'all to compare and check out that video if you're interested in it because i did a full review on that but back to cleo denial and her family check them out I'm so excited like I thought I was gonna have to order them online and then it was a really good price and let me tell you the reason I said this is a really good price is because everything at Target is way more expensive like um, see on the back you can see Claudine's family then it also has right here it has a Farrah Denial doll so I want to find her I, I didn't see her there because if I did I would have gotten her and then of course we have Laguna's family which I might get them in the future but yeah, so um, just to go back, we have Sandy Denial, which is the little baby. We got Lux Denial, and then we got Farrah Denial. Now, I have not started my series with Cleo Denial because I did not have what I needed to start the series. All I'm going to say is that now that I have these two little ones, that's literally all that I needed. So I think Mattel literally has been reading through my notebook, okay? <laughs> Mattel has been stalking me in my notebook and coming up with dolls specifically for my ideas. So I'm not going to speak on how I'm going to use the dolls, but now that I have them, I'm definitely... Um, going to 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 do that all right and then check her shoes out she has some cute little shoes on looks like she comes with a rag and a little cup the baby comes with his outfit in a baby bottle and then her brother comes with a cool little outfit on and it looks like he has like a cell phone or something like that so oh my gosh that's all i'm gonna say all i'm gonna say is oh my gosh okay i'm happy to have that set i'm gonna unbox them on another video because this is gonna be like a complete video for only them oh and i almost forgot to mention because my mind was jumping all over the place what i wanted to say about target now you know i have my fashionistas they had the They have the Fashionistas. Now, stay tuned because I still have to unbox the rest of my Fashionistas from my last haul. But they have Fashionistas, not even the double-pack Fashionistas. They have the single-pack Fashionistas in there um, for about $9.99 instead of $7.94 that you can get at Walmart. And they had... Oh, matter of fact, they did. They had... um. Let me see if she's on the back. She's not on this box. They had another Fashionista... Um, okay this is the fashionista that i found at target that had her there but she was like 20 dollars. she was like 20.99 and then they also had her which i really really wanted her because i think she's a cute doll i don't really think i have too many brunettes in my collection and i love those two outfits and she's a petite barbie so you know that i love the petite barbies and i love to get the petite ones so that i can get more clothes for my petite dolls so she was $20.99 as well, which is ridiculoso. So I'm like, no, I can get them on Amazon for $14 or less. And shout out to the dollhouse who um has been reminding me, yes, to check out the warehouse. So I'm going to check out the warehouse to see if I can get them even cheaper because I really don't need the boxes. As you can see, I'm going to be opening up my dolls. They also didn't have a really huge selection. They had the Monster High dolls on the opposite aisle from the Barbie. So it was on two different aisles. And then they also had the one that comes in the deluxe pack like Indigo with the blonde hair. All of the fresh dolls were marked up a dollar compared to Walmart. Oh, and the last thing I want to mention before we open up a doll is that if you're looking for these first dolls and you cannot find them, because I've been having some of my Instagram friends message me about that and um, hit me up, make sure that you go on Target.com because you can't order all of those dolls on Target.com if you can't find them in your city. Okay, so the first girl that I'm going to open doo -doo -doo -doo, in this video is going to be Made to Move. And the reason I'm opening her up is because, for one, I have another one of her on the way, like I said. And I have a very special video coming on the Made to Move dolls, just to give y'all more information about it. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to open her up just so that I can at least open one doll in this video, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I absolutely love her. I, I, I don't know where I was at last year. Like, now I'm really reevaluating my whole doll life. <laughs> because I'm like, where was I last year when this Made to Move came out and all of them came out? And I saw them on Instagram, but I think I was still kind of obsessed with Monster High at that time. Which I'm not really anymore. Like I said, I do love... Um, the two sets that I got for the families, but that's the only Monster High that I probably bought 
and I don't know how long. Oh, and I also did buy my um, Claudine and um, Claude brother and sister um, football pack. But I, I guess I was obsessed with them. As I said, I, it kind of fell off for me when they did their remake of the new dolls. I'm just not really into the new dolls like that. But, oh my gosh, like, I'm, I love her now. Let me show you her up close. And I must say, one of my favorite things about this set is that soccer ball. I can't even lie. So one thing that threw me off when I was taking her out the box that is really cool is that, look, underneath these socks, she has some shin guards on. So they try to get real technical with it. I love it. So she has shin guards on. Then she has some cute shorts that says 59. And a cute shirt that says 59. Okay. A little kind of rubber band headband. And look at her face. I think she's so pretty. She's such a pretty doll. So she's super cute. I got to figure out a way to incorporate her into Doll World Show's Real Barbies of Atlanta. She's definitely going to be in it. Her name is Tamara, okay? That's what she looks like to me. She looks like a Tamara. So, yes, I'm feeling her. And like I said, um, I, they had actually only two of her left at Target. But I was going to get both of the dolls. But I said, you know, I already have another one of her on the way. And as I said, since she's the same um, color as orange top, same complexion, I'm like, okay, I'm already going to have, like, five of these made-to-move Barbies in this complexion. So, I think that should be more than enough. And I just didn't want to go overboard and get more than I needed. But this is a, a popular complexion of dolls that I get. So, that's why I just wanted to make sure I had enough bodies just in case I want to do some swaps. So, I hope that you all enjoyed this mini Target haul. Um, oh, by the way, I always get my Tiger Balm from Target. <laughs> Complete side note. I use this for my headaches. I don't take any kind of medicine, so I love this stuff. It's good for bags, all kind of stuff. But anyways, I hope that y'all enjoy this haul. Um, I am going to do a separate video to unbox my Rockers Girl and to unbox Mrs. Neff for Denial. They're going to get their own videos. And I'll see y'all again on the other side. Comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you shop at Target. And like I said, if you can't find the Fresh Dolls, make sure that you go to Target.com. See y'all later. Love y'all. Peace.